What's good, my G's? Your boy Snow Ignorant Gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? Of course, you already know. G stands for gamers. Ah, Rainbow Six Siege Beta. So today is 9 28 2015, September 28, 2015. And I wanted to give myself a chance to calm down from the, the excitement and the hype before I got on camera to say what I loved and what I hated, or what I like and dislike, what I appreciate, which I indifferent about. And I wanted to make sure that I kept some of my stuff to myself. Uh, but let's just start from the tip top. The Rainbow Six Beta, you know, some of us had access to it uh, before the actual closed beta. And now it's being extended to December 1st. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The game comes out December 1st. The game is being, the beta is being extended to October 1st. Pardon me. And, um, you know, I think that's a good thing for the game. I think that's a good thing for anyone who's been playing it from the technical test to the closed beta. Uh, I was part of the technical test. I still was playing part of the, the closed beta part. On the 25th, they unleashed, what was it, Terrorist Hunt? And, you know, I have my thoughts on that as well. You guys have seen my videos, my clips, my rounds. Uh, I posted one full game. You know from from the rainbow six uh beta and um uh, yeah you know as you can see we got the communication going on i got the end game chat going on i got the party chat going on when the end game chat wasn't working you know we inviting people to the squad to the party squad you know just so we can keep the conversation moving just in case we got bounced from the servers when you got a good team you wanted to keep them together made a slew of new friends on both consoles didn't really add anyone into uh, my console list. Oh, well, to my friend list on Ubisoft, the Uplay for the PC version. Just because I'm not going to be there, I don't want to give them any false hope. I just wanted to see if anything ran faster, smoother, any textures, etc., etc. And for the most part, you know, add on to the beta test. Give, you know, submit feedback and everything across all three platforms. I got the privilege to be on all three. Why not help all three communities, right? So... Right off the back, I want to say that in game, when you're in the game, there weren't too many things I had an issue with. Actually, I pretty much like or love everything that was going on. If I had any complaints about being in game with the beta, being at beta stage, is that sometimes if you're in a down state or your friend is downed, meaning he's not dead, you can still revive him that he fell through the map, uh, not fall through the map meaning you couldn't get him, but meaning that if he died on the ground level, or if he got down, sorry, on the ground level, his body would fall down to the basement, and depending on the situation, <laughs> you can't get to the basement to go get him because, you know, you're in the middle of a gunfight, or you can't go back in that direction. So, if they can figure that out, that'd be super great. The one anomaly that happened was somebody cluster breached the top floor and I got killed in the basement. And I thought that was hilarious, but it wasn't all that funny because it actually took me out the game very early. And, um, you know, where I was at was the last room that they actually made it into. And I could have gave our team a better chance to win. I'm not saying I would have I would have won the match for us, but I think I with with them getting that first kill on me being in the basement from the top floor, you know, that, that kinda gives you a little bit more confidence and momentum and everything like that. And I was a maybe the second shooter, if not the top communicator in the game, so that kinda hurt. The other thing was in game was the fact that you know, the uh sometimes when you attacking your drone decided to go to underworld which looks pretty dope by the way but still nonetheless that's an issue you don't want to have to start your drone under the ground and to me those things can be fixed i'm not going to get into a balancing thing i'm not going to get into a gun balance a lack of guns what guns are missing scopes i'm not going to get into any of that because i always feel like when you play a game you have to play the game for what they present you and if it's a part of a series, you can and you should reflect back. But this is also kind of a reboot to the series in a, in a, say, in a sense. And actually, this game, Rainbow Six, is actually 
fighting against a very, 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 very tough genre, which is people wanting respawn and die. And I, for one, is tired of respawn and die. So, you know, there are some Rainbow Six veterans, probably from the Vegas, I'm going to call them Vegas veterans, where the third-person shooter mechanic is missing. Uh, how do I feel about the breaching, the wall reinforcements and everything? Man, I, I personally like it. I know it's kind of a gimmick, and it kind of changes how you re-engage a room, and some of it is based on, you know, luck or pair of the shooter, but I tend to, I feel indifferent about people making those statements, because as you start to unlock the characters, as you start to understand what these characters do, as you start to understand what each of these characters' specialties are, and how you can better defend yourself against a slew of enemies or attackers or defenders, yo, and the different ways that you can get in, yo, I, I've come to appreciate all the, probably the, the, the drawing board, the whiteboard of how they were doing this game, how they built it. I mean, for instance, we, at the beginning when I was playing this game, I was like, yo, stop picking, what room was it? I think, I forget what, what board it was, but it's a board where when you're playing bomb A, bomb B, uh, there is a kid's room, which is two rooms. One is an unfinished room, and then there's like the master bedroom, and the master bedroom has like three big ass windows, and then two huge doors, and then a wall that you can breach to get in there, like, I was like, yo, it's a, I'd rather have that than the two kid bedrooms, because you're, you're screwed in there, and later, I came across this one character, and he had these things where you can just stop people's breach charges, you can stop people's, uh, from throwing grenades in the room, and I'm just like, holy shit, like, one person put down a signal defense thing that was dope that stopped people from doing the breach charges and another person put in uh, on the wall the things to stop the grenades from detonating and even making it through the wall and i'm like <laughs> now the first time i seen it i thought it was a glitch because i threw my grenade in and it went and go through and i was like yeah what the hell's going on and i was like fuck it let me just go in and um you know it it, it comes with the learning curve of understanding what it is that you have in these characters so those who are beefing about it if they gave it enough time to really have that learning curve because i didn't get that in the first day i didn't even get that the third day i think i might have gotten some of that stuff by the time they let everybody in where i really understood how and where and when to po to, to to do these things you know and how to fit the fit the character to the mold and of course you know, because I, I, I split between the three comp the three place the three platforms, mainly the PlayStation and the and, and the uh and the Xbox, I couldn't have all of them unlocked per. So what I was doing was I would unlock two that was the same two that I unlocked across that I was very comfortable with, and then I unlocked uh some others that I didn't have on the other one. And that's why I was like, Oh man, damn, I wish that I had that unlocked over there. Now that's gameplay. The sound is amazing. I love the gameplay. I love uh, the intensity of it. I like that they switched it from instead of winning five games, you got to win three because five was too much, especially with this age. If you need this to go to be quote unquote YouTube friendly, but I just always felt like three is enough to win three rounds. I come from SOCOM. Trust me. I know what it is to win five or seven games. You're in there for like a fucking two hours B. It's a, it's a pain in the ass. Don't let no one tell you different. I'm not saying this because I'm a YouTube person. None of that. I'm saying that because literally you lose five game, five matches. You're losing an entire day in five matches. So don't, don't, don't try to, you know, take away from what I'm saying because I'm on YouTube, right? Three matches is enough. If you fucking, if you can't get it th done in three matches, guess what? This game has a replay team option and i think that's pretty dope because it always scrambles the team afterwards you keep the team that you play with but they'll give you new opponents but at the end of the game if there's 10 people in the game 10 people have to vote to want to play you guys again or to you want to play them again i think that's pretty great now getting over to the to the i, I don't want to say anything else about the game that is super positive because it really is Again, I'm enjoying everything that I've been able to touch. 
The thing I haven't really been enjoying, and this is probably the only other thing that I can, in game wise, that I kind of don't like, and I had to separate it from the first few things that I didn't like was when I'm playing Terrorist Hunt. Two things actually, but one of them is in gameplay. When I'm playing Terrorist Hunt, I don't like that the suicide bombers are like damn near a juggernaut and can run up on you and straight up in you and the first few times i didn't know what the hell was going on i thought it was like some crawling bomb and it just jumped up and fucking killed me because the kill cam doesn't show you exactly what happened all i know is i was shooting somebody and then i blew up but later on, I, when I saw it happen to someone else, that shit's fucking hilarious. Let me just put that out there. But I was just like, oh, damn. Because we both was lighting this dude up. Like, I know I'm hitting him. I see him hitting him. And then he just went. So I think towards the end of the weekend, they kind of fixed it a little bit. Because my boy Kill kind of put one down pretty easily. And the second thing that I'm going to get into, and I'm going to rope it back into the two, de to the two uh, multiplayer modes, is... The connections and starting with the hunt with the terrorist hunt was if the host whoever was selected as the host of the game that killed the entire game if they were bounced or if they left and if you're playing terrorist hunt or if you're playing anything you're into it you don't want to get bounced because of that you'll take the host migration but you don't want to get bounced from an entire room because of that that sucks why not have the host migration on that as well so, Terrorist Hunt was kind of a pain in the ass, unless you was running with your friends. Now, getting into being bounced from a game, when I was playing the multiplayer, all through the tech tests, all through, through the beta, the closed beta, things were, you can see things gotten better. And then something about when we did the open beta made some things look better for about a day and a half, and then it just went crazy afterwards. And... The point that I'm getting at is there were times where I lost about 1,200 points and five matches or three matches back to back. We won three matches in a row and I didn't get paid the renown, which helps you unlock characters or buy weapons and stuff. Not buy, buy attachments for weapons. I didn't get paid for three of those. And each time I won a match, it was about 400, 400 renown, 400 plus. I say 425 average. And every time you lost, it was about a 100 to 120. And each time that that happened, that's money on the table that I can't use to spend to buy characters. That better not make it the final release. And that was usually happening when someone had left the game and the host migrated or some shit like that. Something dealing with people leaving the game because it never happened when no one left the game. Or there wasn't a host migration. So that better be fixed on launch the other things that better be fixed on launch is one the stability of being in a room because there's been times where i've been in mid second second round end of the first round right at the end of a third round or i'm the last player on the team alive and i get bounced in a room or one person from the party get bounced or the entire room gets bounced like i cannot count how many times that that was happening again the beta testing is helping them fix that. I haven't seen much progress on that. When you're in a game and you're lucky, it's good. But when you're in a game and it's a party, you may not be the one to get bounced. But one person on your team is always going to get bounced. And then you got to leave the lobby to go pick them up. And I just found that that was... It kind of broke the flow. Um... And it kind of broke morale a little bit because at some points I got super frustrated. I'm like, here I am trying to play this shit because I'm really enjoying this game. And now I'm just going to go play Battlefield. Or now I'm just going to go play it on the other console. Or now I'm just going to turn everything off and do something else that I didn't want to do that I set aside to do later. And then when I do that thing now that I said to do later... I can't do that, so I do something else, or I go back to the game to find out that it's still messing up. So, for me, I personally think that, and this is what I've been saying for a while about Ubisoft, I, <laughs> they, I don't know how they do it, but they tend to get through the crack of when we be scrutinizing and side-eyeing these publishers, and these guys, 
be right there. No one says much about them. And my side eye is always on these dudes. And I personally think on December 1st, when this game launches, these things, not all of them, but definitely the, the squad up issues, which I didn't even mention, the squad up issues and being in the game, being bounced from a game and the renown points at the end of a match, I almost can guarantee you those three things are going to make it to the final product and it's going to be patched way after that. And it's sad because I really do enjoy the game. Um, I don't want to buy a game that's going to be released like this. I've had my fair share of that shit where I put faith in the developers, I put faith in the pu publishers, and I've gotten that game that I beta, I beta tested. And I'm not afraid to air out some of my favorite games. Not 2010 Metal Honor, but Metal Honor Warfighter. Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. Hardline actually was straight. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Uncharted 3 multiplayer. Um, although the matchmaking thing was perfect. I mean, perfect. Some people on the other coast said it wasn't, but for me, I had zero of the, ex I had zero of the problems that they had. You know, SOCOM 4, which is the worst SOCOM game ever because it's not even a SOCOM game. They fixed everything from beta to alpha. I mean, from beta to, 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 to live. Uh, what was it? Oh, Ghost Recon had a couple things in there um, that went live with it, which is a Ubisoft game. You know, so December 1st is going to be tough because, you know, I don't want to wait to get the game when it comes out. I just feel like there's going to be another, there this should be another one right before this comes out because I don't want to deal with that when I could be playing Just Cause 3 on December 1st instead of this. So, anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. That's just my opinion. There's nothing professional about it. That's been my experience in the game. I would love to know the experience you guys have had if you had a chance. The other reason why they extended it to, this, to October 1st is because there was also errors and issues with people getting their codes. And I'm just going to leave that like that. If you like the video, like the video. If you subscribe, subscribe to us. There's a bunch of us here. I just happen to be one. And my name is Snow, Ignorant Gamers, and I'm out. Peace, my Gs.